Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be upgrading the memory on this PlayStation 5 console. So usually when you buy the PS5, you should have about 800 gigs of storage on this bad boy here. And by the time you install five to seven games, heavy games actually, you should be running out of memory on this guy. So that's the reason I decided to get a Western Digital PlayStation um, certified memory here, this memory stick, which has a heat sink. And we're going to install this SSD NVMe drive into the PlayStation 5. Usually the problem is getting an M.2 drive that works with the PlayStation 5. And you should get something with PCIe Gen 4 um, certification and also something with a form factor of 22110. Another thing to consider is the read write speed. So you should be looking at something from a 5500 Mbps drive for read and write speed upwards. And that's the reason we got this one from um, Western Digital, which is certified for PlayStation. And we're gonna pop it into this guy right away. By the way, I'm gonna have a link to this particular one in the description below with the price and everything. So yeah, you shouldn't bother yourself about this. Let's pop this guy open. So to open the PlayStation 5, you can lay it in this um, direction where this CD faces upwards and the direction opposite the CD placement should be lifted up and while this is pushed backwards, so something like this. That is a, wow, this is really dusty. And here's the region where we have to pop in the SSD here. So we have to loosen it with a screwdriver. Yep, open this up. This is where we're going to place in the SSD, but let's open the SSD also. As you can see, this SSD has a heat sink on it. Now we're going to pop this in here. And also, losing this screw from here, which you're going to use to hold the SSD in place. Have this in the circle here, pop in the SSD, and then screw this in place. And voila, it's that simple. We have the SSD placed in. So with this in place, let's cover up this um, casing with this other thing we loosened at first. And it's time to pop back on this cover as we remove it. Just put it gently and heat it back in place. And that's about it. We're gonna connect this right to the TV and see if this shows up the memory, the SSD we connected as part of the storage for the PS5. So let's get that done. When the PlayStation 5 is connected to the TV, you should have this prompt to format the new drive. Go ahead with the process, which is quite fast and shouldn't take your time. After which the PlayStation should reboot. Now you can now log into your account, go into settings and then storage to check the M.2 storage size. And you should be able to see two terabytes on display. That's been it. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Koi